welcome to the workshop, my friend! <laughs> Have you ever been to a workshop before? It's a really useful place full of all kinds of tools, tools that we're gonna learn about today. And holy ding dang doona, we might even get to use some of them. Oh, check out my handy dandy tool belt. <laughs> what do you think I have on it? Let me show you. Oh. Now this tool, what do you think it could be? Looks like it's used to tighten things and grip things and turn things. Oh, that's right, it's a wrench. <laughs> and oh, this tool, I bet you know what this is. It's got a long handle and a really strong head and maybe I can hit some nails with it. Yes, it's a hammer. <laughs> And this tool is very useful, see? It looks like it's used to maybe turn and tighten screws. Yes, my friend, it's a screwdriver. <laughs> what do you think? Should we explore the workshop together? Let's get our tool on. <laughs> it's a grinder. It's a bandsaw. It's a drill press. It's some ear protectors. What was that? It's a sander. It's a blower. It's a saw. It's a big can of nails. It's a fly swatter. Okay, now that I got some of my zoomies out, <laughs> it's time to calm down and get a bit more serious because using tools and doing woodwork can be a lot of fun. But we have to remember that there are some simple safety rules when it comes to using tools. Hey, that's kind of catchy. Hmm. something out of wood before? That's called woodwork. <laughs> and today I am going to make something out of this piece of wood using some of these tools here. Woodworking takes a lot of concentration, perseverance, creativity, and fun. What do you think I could make out of this piece of wood? Maybe a computer. Do 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 do. <laughs> probably too advanced for my beginner woodworking skills. <laughs> oh, maybe I could make it into a chair. Here, let me sit on it. Oh, you know what, I think it's too small. Maybe a teacup? Oh, I don't wanna get splinters on my tongue. Hmm. Well, I think about what I can make this piece of wood into. Why don't we take a quick crafting break? Follow me. Hello my friend and welcome to Crafting with Kiki. I'm here with my good friend Millie, hi Millie, and Ramona, hi Ramona. <laughs> and today we are going to make our very own tool belts 
out of construction paper. And we got some scissors, some glue, and some crayons. So let Kiki show you how it's done. We're gonna grab two pieces of construction paper and we are going to make two squares. Watch. Okay, so I got two squares. Do you have two squares, Millie? I think you got one right over here. So show your two squares to our friend at home. Two squares, let's make a pocket out of it. So I'm gonna put glue on three sides. One, two, three, and there we have a little pocket. We can even put a little crayon inside. Check it out. This is my little tool belt. But you know what I'm missing? I'm missing the belt part to wear around my waist. So now I'm gonna make that out of this blue construction paper. Watch, I'm gonna cut out some long strips. Check it out, these are gonna, this is gonna be the belt of my tool belt. And now I'm gonna tape all these pieces together to make my belt. My, I, I need to yeah. tape. You need some tape too? Sure, we can share. There you go. Need a long belt. I can put so many tools in my tool belt. Do you two know uh, what any tools could be? Maybe a hammer? What are some other tools? Construction paper. Construction paper is kind of a tool, yeah? All right, so now I got my little belt. Now I'm gonna tape my little pocket onto my belt, like so. There we go. And check it out, I'm gonna put it on like this. Now this isn't as strong as the tool belt I'm wearing in the workshop today. But I could put all sorts of things, like maybe some crayons. You know, this big bag of crayons is really, I can never find the colors I'm looking for. So unorganized in here. Here, oh, there's one. Here we go, check it out, my friend. Kiki's new construction paper tool belt. Pretty fun, hey? Look, check it, yep. Put it in, what else can we put in here? Maybe some tape? Yeah, maybe some scissors? How much can it hold? Probably not a lot. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's going on the floor. It's going on the floor. All these crayons are ending up on the floor. What a mess. I have an idea of what I could use that wood for. This is such a good idea. Okay, I gotta head back to the workshop. Follow me. I know exactly what to make out of this piece of wood. If only I had someone who knew how to use all these tools to help me. Hey, hey, did I hear somebody say, you need help working the tools? <laughs> Farmer Dave, come on. Well, I have a great idea. What? I want to make a crayon organizer for all my crayons. Okay. But I've never done woodwork before. Do you think you could help me? Uh, sure, do you want to? put the crayons in something? Yeah, so I was thinking maybe from this piece of wood, I could like have a little home for my crayons and so yep. we could drill some holes that okay. are the perfect size for my crayons to fit. Perfect, okay, so we need this to cut pretty, this yeah, up into- Yeah, it's pretty long. Too long, okay. Yeah, so- So shall we cut it on the table saw? I guess so, I've never used How a table saw How many pieces before. do you want? Well, so I kind of don't point? have that many crayons, see? Yeah, so maybe you maybe make it about that long. That looks like a good size to me. Okay, that's a good size. Okay. okay. And then... Um, is this a measuring tape? This is a measuring tape, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Scott, see, is it, I can measure Those are, how... How tall am I? Oh, I'm pretty tall. Oh, it's not long enough. You're too tall. You're too tall. <laughs> uh, and then how many crayons do you want to put in there? Like, I, what, what Yeah, there's got? maybe like, 10, 12, 10? So, 15. So we could go like every half inch, we could go a crayon. So I'll measure this out. And that's where we're gonna drill the holes? And we're gonna drill the holes there. Okay. There's three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and, and a half, half seven, seven and a half, half eight, eight and, and a half, half nine, nine and a half, half <laughs> ten and a half, <laughs> and eleven. Whoa. So what is this? This is a saw blade. A saw, so it's pretty and sharp, it isn't it? It spins like that, yeah. Whoa, it's you gonna have turn to really keep fast. your hands away from it. Okay, and it's gonna be pretty noisy, hey? And it's gonna be okay. really noisy, so you got your ears on. What did you say? Got your ears on! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go, Farmer Dave. Count to three. One, two, three! Whoa! Wow, 
I saw how carefully you did that. You really went oh, slowly, didn't you? Yes, you have to go slow. You have yeah. to keep your hands away from it. Yeah. Otherwise, you end up looking like that. Oh, no. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Farmer Nate, but what I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you fooled me. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to take this. Okay. And we've made marks on it. Yep. And we're going to drill some holes. Oh, These are drill bits. They're so shiny. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, now, so those are going to make the hole in our piece of wood? That's right. Amazing. So we'll take a crayon like this. We'll see how wide it is. And then we'll put it on the edge of one. We oh. want to get it just a little bit bigger, right? I see. Right, because we need the crayon to fit yeah. into the so, hole. So I think if we go about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the drill press. Okay. And the drill press is going to drill this in wow. like that. And then we'll put a crayon in just to check it. Okay, okay. And then we can do all the other ones. Sounds good. Drill press. So that's a different tool. That's a different tool. So here we go over to the drill, drill press. press. Oh, that works perfectly. Do you want to do one? Yeah, I'd love to do one, okay. Farmer Dave. So, yeah, okay, I'll move it should we slide it across? Yep. Yeah. Slide it across. And I just go really slow? Yeah. And just hold this nice and tight. Hold it tight. Okay, yeah. I got my gloves on. Here we can take it out. Oh. Look at all the wow. sawdust on top. That's amazing. Can I blow yeah. it off? <gasps> <laughs> she was going to blow it on me, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Farmer Day. My little crayon holder. That looks there amazing. That's We're exactly how I imagined it. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, Farmer Dave. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you're welcome. Woodworking is so much fun. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Thanks we'll for see helping you later. me. Bye, Farmer Bye. Dave. Check it out, my friend. My very own handmade crayon holder. Wow. Should we test it out? Oh, check it out. My crayons are going to be so organized. Oh, man, I'm so excited. You know what it's missing, though? A little splash of color. I'm going to paint it. Can you believe it? Out of a simple piece of wood, I made an organizer for all of my crayons. It's amazing what you can do with some tools, some wood, and a little help from a grown-up. <laughs> Today we learned how to use tools safely and build something out of wood. That's a pretty successful day in the workshop, don't you think? <laughs> It felt so good to make something with my hands. I'm feeling really proud of myself. Now that I've done some woodworking, when I look around, I'm just noticing everything that someone must have built using tools and wood, like that door, or even this workshop, or even my wooden memory box. <laughs> Remember this? It's my memory box. It's where I keep all my souvenirs from our adventures together. And every time I look at them, I think of you. Maybe you could make a memory box too. To remember our special day in the workshop together, I'm going to put this tiny little screwdriver inside. <laughs> well, my friend, that's it for today. But I can't wait to see you again soon. Remember, wherever Kiki goes, you're always invited. Where do you think we'll go next?